termite trouble. And not just the domestic kind of termites, because they're bad enough, right? But we're talking about a foreign, more aggressive termite. I spoke with one man who is waving the red flag about what he's found in St. Augustine. Be careful where you step. This John Valdez is a contractor in St. Augustine. This is an interesting structure. He specializes in restoring historic buildings like this one. Now this is termite damage you're looking at right here. This damage is created by domestic subterranean termites. Uh, St. Augustine has always had termites and we deal with them all the time. While Valdez walked me around this house, he recently discovered in one of his other restored houses what's been called the super termite or the Formosan termite. The house where those termites are is not far from from downtown St. Augustine, and the discovery has rattled him. We're spending a fortune trying to get them out of the building. Formosan termites do more damage in a shorter amount of time than the domestic termite. The difference is the colonies are huge. You go from having a million individuals in a domestic colony of subterraneans to having 10 million, which means they eat a lot more wood and eat it faster. Valdez is concerned about them swarming and spreading. I know of another building that's infested right now with them, and the people can't afford to do anything about it. Formosan termites are the same kind that invested the women's club in Jacksonville three years ago and spread in Riverside. Pest control companies tell me they are starting to see Formosan termites in different parts of St. John's County, and there are preventions and treatments available. So Valdez is ringing the alarm bell for St. Augustine. And Valdez is encouraging city leaders to take action when it comes to these Formosan termites. We have money in place to help people rebuild their buildings. Great, wonderful. We need to allow some of this money to be used for preventative termite treatment. He also suggests changing the city's building code, requiring treated wood, which he says the Formosan termites do not like. It's our architectural history is at stake here. Valdez also told me that Formosan termites have been in St. Augustine for a few years now. His concern right now is that there seem to be more of them and their potential spread could be a real hazard to historical buildings.